Hello everybody, I am your host Shadow Isle and we are back with another Monsters of Etheria podcast. So, before we begin into the fan suggestions, I would like to give a uh, shout out to my Thunder. He is a Monsters of Etheria staff member. Um, I'm sure you guys know who, well the majority of you guys know who he is. Um, in the description... There will be a link to support him. Uh, it is for Streamlabs. So yes, it's a software. It was a, pretty much a software recorder, software uh, recording software. Um, it's really good stuff. I did use it before. Uh, back when I did, well, I didn't use the majority of it. I did it when I uh, what's it called? Was working on a mini project for something else that. I never actually got the real the like show to you guys, uh, but it is good stuff. It is free. Uh, well, again, link will be in the description. Um, everybody, everybody that help, like uses that link will be supporting the Thunder. Um, so make sure you guys uh, try it out. Um, so let's get into the fan suggestions. The first fan suggestion is by. Uh, Ah, uh, what's it called? First fan suggestion is by Ghost That Haunts. And the mutation line, so it is a water, uh, we're going to call it water-based mutation line for right now. Uh, the first monster is called Sharpent. Sharpent? Sharpent? I don't know why I did Fint, since there's not an H on the, after the P. Uh, the, then it mutates it to Karchikonda. And then that mutates to do Meganobia, Neg Meganobo, and they are, so, they would all either be water and dark, or water and dragon. Um, the premise of the monster is that it's supposed to be what a shark would look like with a long body. So pretty much, you know, like half shark and half snake. Um... So Sharpent is a small snake that is, well, a small snake shark, quote unquote, um, that swims very fast, you know. Uh, one thing that I would like to add, uh, if you, uh, another alternate typing that it could be would be like water and electric. And that would be if you use those glowing spots on its body on each of their bodies to be able to produce uh like attacks from them so that could be that could be an alternate route um but yeah so it is a small sh snake shark that comes from very fast and then it mutates into karkankata which is a bigger quote unquote bigger sarfin and its fin has grown bigger well like i don't know if that's a horn or like the spike on its head i guess i don't know if that's a fin or horn or what would you call it but it is a it's a pretty much bigger version of Sharpent, Sharpent, and it is and it targets land animals, well not land animals, land monsters that go near the coast slash shoreline. Um, so once it mutates into Megonobia, it is three times bigger than what it previously was, and it is able to easily outswim any swimming any other swimming monsters. Uh, its tail is also strong enough that it can make a huge wave with one swipe of its tail. And it would be either a physical attacker. It could either be a physical attacker or a special attacker. But for me personally, I would set a condition. So if it's in the ocean or water dimension or anything like that it will have a speed increase its speed stat will increase immensely so that it would hold on <coughs> it would be able to outspeed other monsters any other monster in the water but when it's outside of water you could have it be like have a decrease in the speed stat 
or, or something like that. Something along those lines would would probably be my uh, my guess. Um, but yeah, you you do that, and I honestly I honestly think, uh, yeah, I, I, you have to like nerf it a bit here. Um, so the way to obtain it would probably be uh, you gotta either find fossils in the desert or the ocean. Um, and that'd probably be the way how you would unlock it. Um, and then the spots that it has across his body would apparently glow throughout the night. So there's that. It, it does produce like it. It does produce um, water. Not well. It does produce light over time. Uh, all right. The next monsters are by simply. Oh wait, never mind. All right, next monsters are by Missile Duck. Um, the first monster is called Light, Light, Light Fee, Light Fee, and the. Who I'm gonna hurt myself over pronounce this one. The second monster is pronounced Dararad, Dararaid. Uh, so, Light Fae, Light Fee, is a dragon magic type? Do we have a magic type? Is magic type a thing? Um, no, I'm not really sure if magic type is a thing. It might be. Uh, but Light Fae, Light Fae would be a dragon magic type, and Dararaid would be a flying dragon type. Well, wind, all right. And uh, Light Fae would be is an ancient goddess who was praised for her kindness, and their raid is a field experiment between a bird and a dragon. Um, that's hold on. So honestly. I, I don't know which one is which. I'm assuming the bottom one is, well, the image I'm showing now, I guess, would be Light Fae. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Correct me. Uh, I wasn't really told which one of these is which, but I'm going to guess was, this would be Light Fae. Where it does seem to be like contain a mixture of like a dragon and almost a butterfly or something along those lines whereas the top was well, this one here would definitely be uh the failed experiment between the bird and dragon thing if it's not then holy crap that's crazy um but yeah good stuff good stuff the next monster is by What is this? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Uh, the next one, the next monster is by Barnon Barnon, and it is called Pantalope. Um, Pantalope is well. The typing for Pantalope would be uh, most likely or somewhere around the basic wind. Um. It, it's apparently it would be a bowl. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, apparently it would be along the lines of uh, a first form or like a second form. Um, so you can see, I can see it being like an, an instrument in a way. So you would have like the antelope head, or do you, I don't know what kind of animal that would be. And so, like, the horn, a horned animal's head, um, right below that, you could I somewhat see like a harp, just like some sort of like string instrument there, followed by like a little bit of a cushion, um, and then like a bell, sort of like a bell on the below that, 
And then you would have like the holder or part where you blow. It could, if you want to do like a wand, then you could do a wand. But I sort of see this being like a music instrument in a way. Uh, where it could be both a combination of a string and then on the bottom would be like the wind part of it. Alright, alright. The last monster we have here is by Colossal Gaming. So, the first monster is called Corsia. Um, and it is a dark normal type. Uh, and it sort, of, it sort of seems like it'd be like an interdimensional... Well, not an instrumental since it's more supposed to be used for like spying methods, but like it'd be able to camouflage itself and almost appear like it's teleporting while it, instead of it actually teleporting, it's just going invisible and popping up somewhere else. And the rival to that is Christomy, Christonomy, Christonomy. Okay, wow. And it is more of a crystal like monster and it is a cosmic light type uh so any any these two monsters would be rivals towards each other or right, so but in chris nomi's reference i would see this being more of like whenever like a piece of it would break off it could grow regrow that piece back within a couple hours or even a day or so somewhere along those lines uh i don't know what kind of like sat wise i couldn't tell you what kind of monsters they would be that's not true for uh question me course uh, i would see it being more of a speedster whereas christonomy I would see being more like a physical tank. Alright, alright. So the we're done with the fan suggestions for now. Uh again, you guys can send me things on either by email or or my in my via my dis, via Discord. Uh it's either way just you know, if you guys have monsters you want to suggest or ideas or anything like that. I'll be sure to cover it. I'll, I'll try my best to cover it in a future video. Usually, but alright, so again, the rules are maximum of three monsters from that art, from an artist per week. Alright. So we move on to the monster lore. And uh, this monster is Chamber. Chamber is a relatively new monster. It came out two weeks ago? I guess two weeks ago today. Well, no. Two, like, beginning, around around the beginning of 2019, Chamber came out. Um, and Chamber is one of those, it has an elusive to it. I will be covering elusives in a future video. Uh, I do want some things done before I do an elusive video. But anyway, so Chamber is uh, an ice, quote-unquote, ice entity. So, how I would see this being is it's a possess. It's either possessed or it's like the ice is more of a cage, or or it could be wrong. And this is that's just like, but those are, those are my premises for it. Um, it is uh, it's a pretty much a body holding in a more powerful being. Uh, where the body has tried to break out from it, and that's why there are spikes coming out of Chamber's body, um, and why parts of the bar around Chamber's face, quote unquote, face are broken, is because it has tried to escape. Um, whether there's like some sort of hexes going on with that, or or what you what or what you call it, um, Chamber has tried to escape from its prison, but. It's unable to because of a powerful enough magic keeping it inside. Um, oh, oh, all in all, Chamber is not one of the monsters I'll use personally. 
no offense to those who do like chamber like chamber is a cool i, I enjoy the concept of chamber but battle wise it's not one of the ones that i uh use i tend since i tend to focus on like range monsters you guys be like oh yeah you're just a loser that that's too afraid to get up and up close and personal with their enemy I'm like you might be right I, I can't i can't tell you if you're wrong or not because uh i have to be able to connect well with the monster maybe for me to use it properly but yeah so chamber will be like could have a hitting meaning to it if we were to do like alternate forms of monsters I could see like there being an alternate form to chamber in which it's broken free of its prison and it's shown its true form. But yeah, that's pretty much the monster lore for this episode. Uh, in case you guys have been watching, seeing some of my recent videos, I have been coming, have been covering more of Never Alone slash. I might, I'm gonna butcher this, Kisima Ingishuna. I don't know, it's one of those indie games that I, I've been enjoying lately. And I was like, huh. Because so how it pretty much goes it's like twenty it's like ten minutes, ten to twenty minutes you can spend per like mission and then you get to like a, a, a quote unquote chapter transition and uh, so it gives me enough time to like take a break and things like that. And I've been enjoying that game quite a bit. So I decided I'd share it with you. Um so I might do, I'm going to do a lot more videos on that until I finish it. I think look at that. So, be on the lookout for that. There probably going to be something t uh, on Saturday. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure you also hit that subscribe button for more content. We're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2019. Um... That could be considered a big goal compared for my channel size, but I believe we can do it. So, if you guys know anybody that hasn't subscribed yet, make sure you tell them about my channel. Uh, we'll be for doing more videos. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.